go on to the final division, Dwarf with Stain Division 4. So we've got Wakefield Fort Niners 155 against South Carolina Broncos 218. The Lancaster Bomber 246 against the Dobos Starlord Diamonds. Finally got it right. 186. We've got South London Rebels, the team of the thing. 230 points and against the Gorgie Vikings, Poor Grote, 166.88. The London Eagles, 185, up against the Kirkwell Cowboys, 179. Score with Patriots, 175, against the Kirkwell Raiders, another good score, 236 for Ireland. Manchester Spinners, 198, against the 232 for the Blue Toon Texans, another wee nice little win for us there. This is the one with most of the show with the money in it, but yeah, it's a couple of... Uh, not really yes, any shocks, well, to be honest. The, the, there's a, the, the picture's been painted in this division, Johnny. You know, South London Rebels at the top, 10 and 2. Kirkwall Raiders, second, 10 and 2. And Langshire Bombers, third, 9 and 3. They're playing for two by spots. And then you get South Carolina Broncos, also maybe in that hunt, but more importantly, in the playoffs at 8 and 4. And then this is all about the last, the last two spots. Kirkwall Cowboys at six and six, Dobbles Darlow Diamonds currently at five and seven, currently hold them. But you've got London Eagles at five and seven, Wakefield 49ers at five and seven, and even Blue Toon Texans and Fullwood Patriots at four and eight, down to tenth. They're not out of it yet. They're only I one the, place. The Blue Toon Patriots have scored more points than the two teams above them. They've just happened to score one more win. They have. So they've been they they sitting that's up all. in seven, so it's not going to help them against Dobbo's Darlow Dal- Diamonds, though, but it will help them against Kirkwall Cowboys, too. You know, they're close yeah. to that. And if they come back, if they lose two, then obviously Blue Toon are going to be scoring more, you would think, if they win two. So, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, those teams are not out of it, and because there's so little between them, this this is all about uh, this is all about fifth between 5th fifth and 10th, this, this league. That's that's where it's at. But the only real shock, we you call it a shock, was London Eagles beating the Kirkwall Cowboys. Which is a massive sure because it keeps them straight yeah. in the hunt. Well, hunts with 45 points with a help. But I think a couple of Cowboys had a good score last week, I'm pretty sure, but this week, not so much. Yeah, Jackson just didn't turn out. As we, you know, we've said, Jackson's poor week. Uh, Hopkins didn't exactly knock it out of the park. John O'Smith Smith, two points two and points. done nothing, so it should be a duck egg. But yeah, yeah. Well, you left Mostart on the bench, you left Reed on the bench, you left Okarike on the bench, you know. Oh, and you left, oh yeah, that's it. I don't know why you left Okarike. In a game like that, you knew it was going to be lots of tackles, not much yeah. offense. Left more on the bench, people. like Greenlaw and Jewel, I guess. And that, yeah. Greenlaw and Jewel are too good. They've been scoring well this year, you know, so I, I see the logic, but... Um, but yeah, great win for London Eagles. Get you know, Hearts again. That's you know, the game didn't look like it had forty five points in it for Hearts. In fact, I'm sure at half time he had about thirty six yards through the air. Oh, it didn't nothing like it. Just yeah, they were they were crap. Yeah, forty five points. You know, well two rushing yeah. touchdowns as well. well that run to that win does the over- help. Plus overtime will get you extra points as well if you're going to win the game. So that does help. Obviously, but, um, another good win for Tony Harrison. Just keeping up. Yeah, he's, he's, he's away and gone, man. That's said. Uh, we'll speak about him in the playoffs. Well done, sir. Um, Do- Dobbo's Dallas Diamonds obviously losing this week, which is a bit of a sore one. I mean, he, was, he ran into a big game. You know, Lancashire Bombers, who have, not, who have absolutely secured the spot they are in. There is no way they cannot be. Um, so, yeah, but bad loss here for them as well. I mean, Kirkwell Cowboys and Dobbo's Dallas losing has opened it up. You know, let uh, London Eagles and Bluetooth in. And the Wakefield Fort Niners, if they can get Wakefield losing as well. That was a, but yeah, I mean they, they they lost as well, you know. To so I mean, if, you know, if winning that game would be the difference. But um, but yeah, I mean, it's still it's wide open for those teams, you know. It's uh, it's good and it's two. It's unlike a lot of leagues, they're playing for two spots, not just one. Yes. You know, and it's that 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 can help a lot. Oh. You know, I mean, Blue Town have got Kirkwall Raiders this week, so that's a that's a, a local dar- that's a home league derby. Yeah, that London Eagles are playing the Gorgie Mikins. Who are Kirkwall Cowboys? You're up against the South London Rebels. No, they're looking like they're going to slow down. Nice one. Here, yeah, the London Darlings. Eagles are playing Gorgie Vikings, so you know yeah. the London Eagles win and the Kirkwall Cowboys lose, and and Kirkwall Cowboys are in Dudu. And you've got the Dobos, yeah, Dobos against Wakefield, 2-5-7, so that's a... Yeah, that's a game of the week for me. 
Yeah, the the Dobos in the Wakefield game. That's uh, the the winner of that game's probably uh, are they are going to be holding one of the spots going into the final week. But uh, well, you've got Wakefield. Sure they've got their quarterback. Their quarter Dobbs is out, or they've got Pickett to put in. I guess, but it's Pickett. Pickett. You're, you're missing Edwards. And then you've got Elliot. Elliot could go on as well. She's been getting points. But Dobbo's missing Barkley and Moore and Komet. So that's pretty that, that's three hard ones to replace him with three quarterbacks. I repeat, three quarterbacks on the bench. He'll be bringing in Hubbard and probably have to bring in Char. Which He's not got much of a choice. That's, that's, that's the only two you can pick unless you pick somebody up. And he's going to need to go shopping for a tight end. And he is going to need to go shopping, you know, because if, you know, obviously a must win game. So, yeah, that's a huge game and it's a must win there. It's a huge game for Kirkwall Cowboys against South London Rebels, but, you know, it's it's not a big game for South London Rebels. Well, so. Kirkwall Cowboys have got Jackson in a bye, Cook in a bye, Tucker in a bye, but they've got Goff. Well, so they've got people to plug in, but they are going up against. One yeah, they're going up against teams, so it's a tough one. I mean, they're missing Kincaid, Hawkinson, Davies, Meyer, and Murray. RS South London Rebels, and they've still got they've still got Prescott, Kamara, Eckler, Lamb, Allen, Johnson, Kettle, Cooper's going to need to go, I guess. Well, Cooper might not be playing. So. Jings, that's, so that's a strong team. So, yeah, you wouldn't fancy it. You know, Cutwell Cowboys are right up against it this week. Um, and if they don't win this week, they could... I mean, if, the good thing for them are, if they don't win this week, they're still no. not dead. No, they're not. Because who they got in week 14? You've got Dobos are playing against the South Carolina Broncos. <laughs> Wakefield are playing still... against the Bombers. Eagles are playing... Well, yeah, so basically the other teams are at 5-7. and seven. Are playing against a nine and three, an eight and four, and a ten and two at the moment. So they've all got tough ones. The Cowboys yeah. have got Grotty in the last week, so hopefully Grotty will do him a favour and do like he's done the rest yeah. of the season and no turn up. The yeah, Manchester we'll Spinners are up against the Raiders and the Blue Toon Texans against the Fullwood Patriots. So yeah, I think who are the Blue Toon Texans playing this next? This, uh, oh, they're playing the Raiders. This, yeah, so you got yeah, it's going to be a. That could all go to the final one, and there's a probably a good chance you could have a seven and seven. Oh, it's it's going to go to the final. It's going to go to the final week for sure. But the good the good thing for the teams that are in it are in the chase is that it's two sp- spots are playing for, not just the one. You know, the five and yeah. sevens. The you know, Blue Tune, they they're playing for kind of one spot, trying to grab that final six spot. But the the five and sevens and the six and six, they're playing for two spots. Yes. That's so uh, they they can prob- you know the likes of Kirkwall Cowboys can't afford to lose this week. The worst will be is tied going into the final week. You know. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. Well, and they're playing Grotty in the last week, so you got to think. So yeah, this uh, is a bit of a get the win this week, but you're not putting yourself in, and you know you're just putting yourself in the box seat. So um, mm-hmm. two big weeks coming up for for those teams. Yeah. So, so that that's us for the week. So some good games.